free throw rebounding for a post. Now, what I'm thinking about on this is this is a very physical job. Your job is to keep the defensive player from getting the rebound. Now, we're gonna discuss the bottom two, the bottom two on boxing out on the free throw. We're gonna go over three ways. The first way, we're gonna box out the regular way. We're gonna use our inside foot, where we're gonna step in, and we're gonna box out with our arms, eyes up, using our butt as our eyes, so that we can box out, and then we're gonna grab the rebound. That's the first way. Second way is a swim move. I'm here, and I'm going to defensive end him, like I'm a football player. Swing, my arm, so I'm going to go arm and leg. Arm and leg, box out, eyes up, butt is my eyes on the box out, so I can rebound the ball. Last one, this is for more advanced. As you get older, guys are stronger, especially when I played in the NBA, guys were much bigger than me, so I would let them go ahead. I would let them go ahead if they're aggressive, let them go ahead, push them under the basket, and get the rebound on my own this way. First one is just a regular box out. As you see here, same thing. Arm in, arm in, he boxed out, and then he attacked to go get the ball with two hands, then he chest the ball. Next one, swim move, just swims. Just all you gotta do is take the other hand over and then go. Go, swim move, see, swim move, swim move. Both are behind, swim move, that gives you an arm and a leg to box them out. Last one, let go hard. And then y'all just gonna push them on and go. There we go, see that? And they get the rebound. See, they both are under the basket. When guys are aggressive like that, as you get older, guys are gonna be more aggressive. So you just let them go under just like they demonstrated. You push them under the basket and you got the rebound. Perfect, good, good, perfect box out. Swim, swim, swim. There we go, get the rebound, swim move. Because he had his arm and his leg in, he was able to retreat to get the ball faster. Practicing the rebounds is key. Usually we do this in professional sports at the end of practice. You can spend maybe like 15, 20 minutes on it. You can do it in your driveway if you have a friend boxing them out. Just practice the boxing them out. It just helps you with rebounding and it helps you with getting positioning on the defensive player to get more rebounds and be an effective rebounder for your team.